Hey guys, I hope all is well with everyone. <clears throat> so on this one here, we're going to look, we're going to start off with where we left off at and continue looking into Kylie Jenner, Timothy Chalamet, Zendaya, and at the end, it will be uh, Kylie and Travis. If you find yourself enjoying, please do me a favor, hit that like button, share, comment, subscribe. If you're new, welcome. If you're returning, welcome back. And if you don't know already, my name is Ray. And I will have timestamps down below for you. Was Kylie Jenner's true intentions with Timothy Chalamet? Kylie Jenner's true intentions towards Timothy Chalamet. Was Kylie's true intentions Timothy? Wow. Bunch of sevens. There's another one back here. The seven of wands. Some sort of third party energy. Placing energy into it. It's confusing and stressful, maybe even some type of sabotage because of the Ten of Swords. But it opens a new chapter in the past, then. <laughs> what the F? Wow. What's this third party here between Kylie Jenner and Timothy Chalamet? Some type of project with energy being placed into it. What is this third party here? with Kylie's intentions with Timothy. It's like this, some sort of drama here going on. I don't know if this King of Wands is uh, Kylie showing up in her masculine energy or if this is somebody that involves with her work, some sort of plan for her to transform. It's like this person is bringing her some sort of secret information that has this Ten of Swords energy. Can you give me more depth here, please? Like, who is this King of Wands here, first off? Okay, Four of Wands, but... Okay. This is somebody at home. This could be a family member, somebody that's a fire sign. But it's definitely a third out. Oh third party. I fell asleep on the floor for like three hours. Definitely made me feel old because today is the second day that I have 
Okay. <laughs> but anyway. And another three. This person has... Wow. There's some kind of unknown information. I wonder if it's blackmail. Let's whisper down the alley shit. I don't know if this King of Wands is on the cusp with a water sign, so then he would fluctuate in the deck between fire and water. Not always side by side in the deck. So this person could also be this King of Cups, could also be somebody that's providing this King of Wands, this very secret information that is disappointing and is going to like bring some sort of end here. So and tell me about this ten of swords, please. A clarification. Starting off with the Ten of Swords. Six of Cups, Four of Wands. Tower card and the Moon card. There's some sort of game. That's what it seems like to me. Like, if this is coming out with Kylie's intentions with Timothy, it's almost like she's ju ju just judging by the deck, the way it's coming out. It looks like she um, dated him to get some sort of attention, not only for her, but for him as well, and it's almost as though she seems, because she's very protective. I don't know if that's how she is naturally. It could be. She's a Leo. Okay. Uh, but Let's ask about this high priestess. See what the secret information is. What's the secret information that comes in? Why do we have this high priestess in general here? Why do we have this high priestess? Happy helping hand, where there's a lot of attention to a partnership. What's behind this high priestess here, please? Some sort of happy justice. It was done in a sneaky manner. It's almost like this is kind of being brought up by a possible past lover of hers to create an issue. Like 
creating drama. What's this high priestess? What's the truth behind it? So I can't stop getting the feeling that one of them had dated the other one to get like clout or something. To get extra media attention or to get extra attention in general. What's coming in here with this high priestess is definitely bringing in like this disappointment this third party. It was sneaky. Some sort of... It, it was really created. Now that makes me wonder if this is something that recently happened. I'm sorry, I'm going to randomly spaz out. I don't know how else to describe it. Maybe flinching. Maybe a better way to say it. Tell me more about this Three of Swords and Seven of Swords. Death card came out in reverse. It's almost like not able to fulfill some some sort of plan. Like I said, the door is being open, they're shut. Tell me about this three of swords and seven of swords, please. There's a lot of people involved here with this. It makes me wonder if it's like something that's kind of scripted out. Does that make sense to you? Like almost every step is kind of intentional. I mean, there's so many parties involved. It's almost like they're just waiting for one screw up, one screw up to bring it to attention to basically make nothing into something. It does look like a past water sign or fire sign does miss Kylie. Yeah, fantasizing about the past and seeing things from another perspective. The chain connection the world. Definitely wanting to call something back from the past. So I can see what's coming up. Like I said, like just somebody waiting for just one little thing to turn like basically nothing into something. Like there could be 
something totally worse happening, but it's like it's being blown up like ten times worse than it has to be. So the next thing we're going to look into is Kylie's true feelings towards Timothy Chalamet. What's Kylie Jenner's true feelings towards Timothy Chalamet? It doesn't want to tell me. It wants to tell me about the now. It's like something big is happening right now. There's some sort of big change going on between them. We have two fives. There's a confession of this third party coming in, creating stress and sadness. Kylie Jenner's true feelings towards Timothy Chalamet. I'm stuck in a new opportunity. Kylie Jenner's true feelings. It's like she was happy with him, and now all of a sudden, it's like a planned chain connection. We have two eights, something that's been a cycle. King of Cups. What the hell? I think heart belongs out to somebody else. That's what I think's going on here. Could you give me some depth here, please? Like there's new happiness in the homestead. Can you give me more depth there, please? On what's laid out? Could you give me more insight on what's laid out here, please?
Get comfortable. <laughs> we got a bunch here, guys. There's a hidden lover. She doesn't love Timothy. She's just using Timothy. It looks like it's going to bring in a lot of stress here. It's going to be a big commotion, big drama field here. There's going to be an earth sign that's going to see Kylie, feminine energy earth sign. Could be Timothy and his feminine energy, could be. But it's like they see her actions from another perspective, like really see her for her true colors with how this all plays out. Yeah, this Queen of Pentacles energy is going to have a little bit of a hard time with this. just going to have an issue with it in general. So, really? It's like she doesn't really care about him. He's not showing up with this lover's card. There's a king of cups, and I could swear that's on the cusp with the fire sign. So I can see them cutting ties, but not without there being drama involved. Because there's this lover that's been hidden. I could see something petty really going on with the person that she's secretly in love with. Being like, oh, well, Timothy did this. Did you know that? Did you know Timothy did this, did that, blah, blah, blah. You know, just trying to start stuff so that there's a better chance that her and Timothy would break ways and try to pull Kylie's energy towards whoever this person is that's showing them. What's Kylie's true feelings? Towards Zendaya. What's Kylie's true thoughts and feelings towards Zendaya, please? I don't know why it's coming out in chunks. Interesting. So we have the two of cups at the bottom with all of this and the three of swords. I want to look further into the Emperor card just to clarify who it is showing up in here. Dirty buggers. Hmm. 
Can you tell me about this emperor, please? Who or what? Is this showing authority or control energy? Or is this an emperor energy? Let's see, why so many chunks? Here we have the emperor card. So I'm kind of saying two things here. Okay. Maintaining control and authority. Like, making sure, like, there's definitely, like, privacy energy. Um, but she feels like that with... like so narcissist and petty um and like it's like Zendaya's energy stresses her out for some reason it's as though she's finding a balance out for herself and she thinks that she's causing Zendaya pain This is tw twice now that we got this Five of Swords here. Tell me more about it. Good grief. Tell me more about this Five of Swords, please. like a newly created protective wall. So I could swear I said in the last video that it says oh Zendaya can smell um, Kylie's shit a mile away. And since so, I can see Kylie putting up a protective wall to prevent Zendaya from knowing anything that Kylie is up to. Sorry, it's going to be a little smoky. I wanted to burn some herbs. Tell me more about this Five of Swords between Kylie and Zendaya, please. The chain connection. Whatever chain connection it is between the both of them. Okay. It's almost like Kylie is applying past... past things that she's learned within her path that's kind of similar to the situation that she's in. She's trying to put a sneaky balance into a tricky new start. There's some sort of third party union 
partnership going on. I can also see her trying to use her ways to somehow hook Zendaya up with the water sign. trying to close out the past path. Dealing with some sort of battle and conflict with either her mother or with finances. It's created destruction. A lot of stress on a type of plan for a wish fulfillment. There's some sort of lineup here going on. And it's like some sort of financial power move. It's like something that we're not really going to see. Some of us will probably like wonder. There's some sort of project that she's trying to she's playing some sort of game here. She's like super protective at this moment. I'm in partnership. Third party. Queen of freaking pentacles, guys. I think. Yeah, see? Divine justice of the past path. And close out cycle here. It's like she's super jealous. Is she an easily jealous person? Because that's what it seems as though it's picking up because she's like constantly this barrier that's put up to prevent anybody coming in. It's like they don't want, she doesn't want. She doesn't want Sunday to know too much. Whether that's a good thing or bad thing. I think there's something dark to it if you're kind of like really hell bent over it. Um, yeah. You want my opinion? If this is the case. This is the case. Um, maybe she needs to seek some sort of help. She's got the money. What's Kylie's true intention? Zendaya. Kylie Jenner's true intentions towards Zendaya, please. Kylie Jenner's true intentions towards Zendaya, please. Hmm. 
It looks like she's having somebody watch Zendaya with a close eye. It could very well be a masculine energy fire sign. I mean, again, this masculine energy fire sign could be showing up as Kylie. Right, nope, it's a third party. It's a sneaky, tricky third party. I'm telling you, there's somebody that's on the cusp. Could be somebody else as well. But it's as though they're bringing their energy in. I'm telling you, there's something shady going on. Kylie Jenner's true intentions towards Zendaya. Okay, honestly, again, in my opinion, Kylie's coming up like basically a narcissist. It's like, whatever, like, Zendaya might not have anything to do with Kylie, but Kylie doesn't care. Kylie wants to know what she's doing, what type of person she is, what she's wearing, and then come in with a secret attack. Now, I don't know if Zendaya did anything to Kylie, but again, in my opinion, I don't think anybody deserves what this is laying out. What's the Seven of Swords here, please? Like she's trying to make what she has with Timothy. She's trying to get it to stick. You stick around for a little bit. Tell me about the Seven of Swords here, please. She might feel like her relationship has been gossiped about. She's just holding on tight to her energy. Did I not say before that it seems as though 
Sunday wants to try to get a hold of Timothy to like tell him some sort of red flag that she's noticed. Kind of seems like Kylie is on to her about this. And now we have the Queen of Cups that comes in with information about Crossroad. Now we have in solitude this King of Wands. It's reflecting on the nightmares that are to come. Yeah, whatever's been brought in here. It's just taking it in and preparing oneself to move forward. Tell me about this Two of Swords, please. I'm like, I'm hearing, I'm on to you when I think to myself, what is this with Kylie, like, <sighs> the devil card, magician card, the sun card, the devil card, the ten of pentacles, Nine of Pentacles. This kind of gets worse. So, it's like Zendaya is on to Kylie. On to what she's actually doing behind Timothy's back, which it seems like she's trying to get... Kylie's trying to get Timothy to be on her side about things, which is kind of like part of the partnership, I suppose. So she's going to catch wind of something about Zendaya. It seems like Zendaya wanting to come forward and talk to Timothy about something that she's noticed between Kylie and Timothy. It's almost like she wants to speak up. But somebody's going to catch her before that. And I'm hearing fuck with her, but I was going to say mess with her. So now we're going to look into Carly's current feelings towards Travis Scott.
Kylie Jenner's current feelings towards Travis Scott. Kylie's current energy, her thoughts towards Travis Scott, please. Guys, he's not on the cusp with Aries. I didn't look at his placements. I'm wondering if he has a fireplace placement. So it's like in her past, she's waiting patiently for the ship to come in here. The sneaky. Sneaky shift. But when the opportunity arises, it's like she's not going to be happy for some reason of the crossroads there. Kylie's current feelings towards Travis, please. It's like a part of her kind of wants to refill that cup up with happiness and joy between them. It's almost like, but she's happy with where she stands right now. Let's see. Tell us more, please, about Kylie's current thoughts about Travis Scott, please. Manifesting a plan for the public's eye about some sort of transition. Things could wind up being rekindled at some point here. She feels stuck. She doesn't know the, the right way to go. She's protecting what she has. She doesn't want it to screw up, but yet she also kind of wants to play her own little games. That could very well backfire. Not that she thinks about those consequences. I don't know. But... It looks like she still kind of has like some sort of connection with him here, especially with the Knight of Pentacles and the Six of Pentacles. Or Three of Pentacles. Okay. He's like part of this. This thing with Sunday and Timothy.
Kylie's current feelings towards Travis Scott, please. So I do see them rekindling. After all is said and done. It's like things are going to be talked about, things that were hidden in the past. Now here we have a Queen of Swords. It's a Ten of Cups at the bottom, but a Queen of Cups. It's bringing in apathy at this crossroad. Um, I mean, it could be some sort of family member with the Ten of Cups. But they're socializing though. It's like it's like Kylie's way of trying to keep her name out of other people's mouths. She's using Travis Scott, but yet in the process as well as doing so, they're going to get a lot closer. And it's just gonna kinda like come out of nowhere. One of those dealios. We are down to our last question. Um, just so you know, I am actually considering on doing a video on just Kylie and Travis Scott, um, past, present, and future. Um, I might put that up on the membership for a little bit, and then put it out. i probably wait for like a month, maybe. Anywho. Travis Scott, current feelings towards Kylie Jenner, please. A new creation, you guys, is being balanced out. The two of Pentacles at the bottom. Travis Scott's current energy towards Kylie, please. And the Ace of Wands can also represent a type of attraction as well, since we're asking about Travis Scott, a male figure. Mm. Putting a lot of attention to something that's a battle, a conflict, reviving though, this path. So it's like doing, again, like a dirty deed to try to get her back closer. Calling him for a helping hand. He's holding on tight to this opportunity and he's waiting because he sees it from another perspective than how she sees it. Deep down inside, he's feeling apathy on Kylie. It's almost like he might even miss her being close to him. Travis Scott's current energy towards Kylie Jenner, please. Travis Scott's current energy towards Kylie, please.
Again, we can see him trying to use this to get his foot in the door. Or back in the door. He's trying to get justice for her, but also trying to get justice for himself, too, here. Travis Scott's current energy towards Kylie Jenner, please. And it's also as though he doesn't really like what he's doing either because it takes a risk of them working things out. But he's holding on to it, though it's stressful and kind of confusing. But he sees all this from another perspective. He's trying to get closer to her. Trying to make ground decisions. Trying to talk about balancing out the past. How valuable it is to him. And what he's realized since he's been blocked out. But he wants to be closer than this. He doesn't like the distance between them. There's definitely something new that's been started between them. Um, and it seems as though he's been called for help. And it's kind of like a double-edged sword for him. He wants to help her, but then again, it's like he wants to try to benefit from this help, but he doesn't quite have high hopes for himself to win the struggle. It's almost like he also wants a chance to discuss about things from the past. Any type of past disappointments as well. Try to find healing. Try to lay things to rest. Alright you guys, that's where I'm going to leave this one off at. If you found yourself enjoying, please do me a favor, hit that like button, share, comment, subscribe. For those of you who are looking for uh, Tae Young Love, that's when I record the next time, like the next day that I record. Um, I will do Tae Young's Love Life. Um, if you have any specific questions you want me to ask, please... Put them down in the comment box, um, and I'll jot them down. Um, I'm, 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 I'm trying to think. I think that's everything at the moment. I think so. Anyways, you guys, until next time, auf Wiedersehen. Bye-bye.